In this video, we are going to see how to post RSS feeds in WordPress. So let's say that every time a new feed is added in RSS. Now here you can take different examples. Like in this particular video, I have taken the example of Times of India RSS feeds. So every time a new feed is entered here, then automatically it should be created as a post in WordPress. Now how can that happen? For that, you will have to set up some integration between the two applications and the same thing can be done. You Using Pabli Connect software. Here your trigger application would be RSS by Pabli and your action application would be WordPress. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that here we have reached the landing page of the software. On the right hand side you can see two tabs sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user simply sign in. If you are a new user click on this tab sign up it won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free automation tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user here. And here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. So let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking me to name this workflow. Now here my objective is that all the RSS feeds that I have, I want to post them to my WordPress. So I'm going to write post RSS feeds to WordPress. WordPress. Let's click on create. So as I do that here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one here is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this when this happens. An action here is the response. Do this. Now here as per this application my trigger event would be RSS by Pabli. So this is the trigger application. And now what would be my trigger event? So this is the event that will make this workflow run. So it would be new item in feed. So every time a new item is added in feed, so this trigger is going to run. Now here you can see that this trigger will check for new data in every 20 minutes, which basically means that this application has a polling time of 20 minutes. So, it, so the workflow is going to run after every 20 minutes to fetch for new data. Now I'm going to click on connect. So as I do that here you can see that Pabli Connect is now connected with RSS by Pabli. And here we have to enter the URL of the feed. So how do we do that? For this I'm going to first take you to my Times of India RSS feeds. So you can go to any other news feed and here I have taken the example of Times of India. So these are the various feeds. Let's say that I need the news of entertainment. So I'm going to click on this, copy this link address, go back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to paste this. So once I have done this, I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received the API response. This was the latest item that was fed in there. So was 2022 the worst year in the history of Bollywood? Big story. Now as I go down here is the published date and then this is the link okay, of the entire news. Then as I take you down, so here we have the content snippet and then we have the contents. So now once we have received this information, what, what is my objective? My objective is to create a post in WordPress. So my action application here would be WordPress. Let's click on this. And here the action event would be to create a post. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the WordPress account. So I'm going to click on add new connection. And here we have to fill in this information. Basically we have to fill in the email address password and then here the base URL. So I'm going to now fill this information. So once we have entered the username and password, now we have to here enter the base URL. So here I'm going to take you to my WordPress account first. So this is the dashboard of my WordPress account and here this from HTTPS to WP3, this is my base URL. So I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste this over here. And now I'm going to click on save. 
So as I do that here, you can see that WordPress is now connected with Pabbly Connect and now we have to fill in this information. So first of all, the post type and here we have got different types, post, pages, media. So since I'm creating a post, so I'm going to click on post. Then we have the post title. So as I click on this, I'll go to step one and this is the post title. Now here I have to fill in the post content. So first I'm going to enter the content snippet that I had received from RSS feeds by Pabli step and this is it. And once this is done now here I'm also going to provide the anchor tag by HTML so that as soon as the person clicks on this on the title then automatically they would be taken to the news. So how do I write this? So this is my anchor tag for HTML and here within the single inverted commas first I'm going to provide the URL so I'm going to click on this and this is the link and then here I have to provide the title so I'm going to click on this and this is the title so once this is done then we have to provide the slug and excerpt so this is these are not required fields so I'm going to leave them blank now the status so I want to publish as I take you down the category ID so here it is going to be uncategorized so if you wish to build a specific category you can do that then we have the tags so here I'm going to go with testing then we have featured media ID so since I'm not going to paste any media I'm going to first map this delete this and then that's it then we have the format so I want it in the standard format we have got different formats you can select the way you want then the ping status it has to be open comment status is also open and then the author ID so here I'm going to choose admin then the sticky so basically we have to select whether or not the post should be treated as sticky so I do not want that so it is false since this is an open status so I don't need a password I'm going to simply click on save and send test request and here we can see that we have received the API response where this here is the link. Okay, so now I'm going to show you this. Let's copy this, go here and paste this. Let's check the link once. And yes, here you can see this is the title and then we have the content snippet with the link of the big story. Now I'm going to take you to WordPress to show you the same. So this, these are the various posts and as I click on this, now here you can see that this is again the title, this is the snippet and here is the link of the story and as I click on this, it is again going to direct me towards the main story. So I hope this is absolutely clear to you. I'm going to now take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So this is an extremely easy process where our trigger application was RSS by Pabli and here the event was new item in feed. Our action application was WordPress. We had created a post here as an event and that is it. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start processing immediately. If in case you have to work on some specific integration, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.